Hey everyone. I read up, um, I read something about a person um, a while ago about a TV docudrama that had just been made and I have yet to see it. But I was deeply touched by it and so I just wanted to share this about Hans Litten. Hans Litten was a Jewish lawyer in pre-Nazi Germany. Um, and in a particular case where some s Nazi stormtroopers were on trial, Hitler was called as a witness and Hans Litten cross-examined Hitler. And he got Hitler so upset that Hitler would not after that have his name mentioned in Hitler's presence. Because Hans Litten came at him with rationality and Hitler could not take this. Um, afterwards, obviously Hitler took power and Hans Litten being Jewish, um, people asked him to flee the country. People told him to go. He did not leave. He refused to leave. In my eyes, he sacrificed himself. He sacrificed himself for his faith. He was Jewish and he was openly Jewish. His parents were not, but he chose in a rebellious vein to uh, follow his ancestral religion. He sacrificed himself for Germany. Being a German person, he would not leave the country of his birth that I am sure he had an enormous connection to. He sacrificed himself also for his communist ideals because he was a card-carrying communist. But most of all I think he sacrificed himself for humanity because he stood up to Hitler an enormous monster and then that monster took power and he was unwilling to yield to give even an inch even though he knew he was going to be crushed at this point because for that moment the monster was in ascendancy and so he was arrested he was taken to a concentration camp he was moved from one concentration camp to the next always getting singled out for special treatment because Hitler hated this man. He was a Jewish person and Hitler hated him especially much. So, eventually he hanged himself in captivity. That is Hans Litten, a member of the Communist Party. But not just any member of the Communist Party. I just want to read one little quote uh, that Hans Litten had on, on offer for his uh, fellows. Because he always got into trouble with... He was in the Communist Party of Germany, but he always got into trouble because the Communist Party of Germany had a lot of Stalinist influences and he was very very anti-authoritarian and he was very very um, skeptical of just buying into someone else's beliefs so his quote is two people are too many for my party which is an amazing quote and one that I'm definitely gonna steal I mean there's always this idea about socialists or communists being these followers, these drones but here is a communist who is a communist through to his bones but he's the real kind of communist he is the individualist communist he's a communist of his own conviction and he will not yield for any man who cannot convince him of the rightness of his words not even if that man wields power over life and death that was Hans Litten that was a man who I admire the sad thing is the reason why I only now read about him 
the reason why only now he's been dug up and had a documentary made about him is because history ignored him. He was a communist, so the West wouldn't embrace him because he was a filthy red. But he was a communist who would not follow the Stalinist model. He would not follow the totalitarian communists. So the Soviet Union would never embrace him. So he was ignored by all sides and it, you know, it took someone to dig him up now and say here's someone brilliant who we haven't even heard about. Now that all of the kind of rhetoric on both sides has, has faded for there to be some more spotlight on someone who gave everything for his beliefs. And as the final part to this video, so apparently they had performance nights in concentration camps where I guess people were probably expected to perform little pieces, kind of telling pieces on how great Germany is. Um, but Hans Litten performed uh, Die Gedanken sind frei, Thoughts are free, which is of course the ultimate F you in the face of his guards and Hitler, um, which you're in a concentration camp, you know, being tortured to death. That is a level of guts I can't even imagine having. So, in his honor, um, as a sign of my utmost respect, I'm going to just read the um, translation in English which does lose something compared to the German, but um, I'll go for it anyways. Thoughts are free, who can guess them? They flee like nocturnal shadows. No man can know them, no hunter can shoot them with powder and lead. Thoughts are free. I think what I want and what delights me. Still always reticent and as it is suitable. My wish and desire no one can deny me, and so it will always be. Thoughts are free, and if I'm thrown into the darkest dungeon, all this would be futile work, because my thoughts tear all the gates and walls apart. Thoughts are free, so I will renounce my sorrows forever, and never again will torture myself with whimsies. In one's heart, one can always laugh and joke, and think at the same time, thoughts are free. I love wine and my girl even more, only her I like best of all. I am not alone with my glass of wine, my girl is with me, my thoughts are free. That is what this man performed in a concentration camp as he was being killed by the man that hated him more than anything else in the world. <laughs>